students further we will discuss about various cell organelles here is the list of the organelles that we are going to discuss vacuoles chloroplast vacuoles vacuoles are fluid filled organelles enclosed by a membrane the vacuole stores the food or a variety of nutrients that a cell might need to survive. In addition to this, it also stores waste products. The waste products are eventually thrown out by vacuoles. Thus, the rest of the cell is protected from contamination. The animal and plant cell have different size and number of vacuoles. Compared to the animals, plant cell have larger vacuoles. Now we will see the functions of the vacuoles. Provides shape and rigidity to the plant cell. Helps in digestion, excretion and storage of substances. Chloroplast. Plastids are cytoplasmic organelles of algae and higher plants that often possess pigments such as chlorophylls and carotenoids and are the sites of synthesis and storage of food reserves. The most important type of plastid is the chloroplast. They are mainly found in the plant cells. Chloroplasts contain chlorophyll and use light energy to convert CO2 and water to carbohydrates and O2. Thus, they are the site of photosynthesis. Although Chloroplasts are quite variable in size and shape. They share many structural features. Most often they are oval with dimension of 2 to 4 micrometer by 5 to 10 micrometer. But some algae possess one huge chloroplast that fills much of the cell. Like mitochondria, chloroplasts are encompassed by two membranes. A matrix, a stroma, lies within the inner membrane. It contains DNA ribosomes, lipid droplets, starch granules and a complex internal membrane system whose most prominent components are flattened membrane delimited sacs, the thylakoids. Thylakoids are arranged in a stacked manner like a pile of coins. Each pile is called as granum. The thylakoids of different grana are connected by flat membranous tubules known as stromal lamella. Just like the mitochondrial matrix, the stroma of chloroplast also contains a double-stranded circular DNA, 70s ribosomes and enzymes which are required for the synthesis of carbohydrates and proteins. The main function of the chloroplast is to serve the site of photosynthesis. Some other types of plastid are chromoplasts. The chromoplasts include fat-soluble carotenoid pigments like xanthophylls, carotene, etc., which provide the plants with their characteristic color, yellow, orange, red, etc. Leucoplasts. Leucoplasts are colorless plastids which store nutrients. Amyloplasts store carbohydrates like starch in potatoes. Thus, we have discussed about structure and functions of various cell organelles. Now we will see comparative account of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Comparison between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. True membrane bound nucleus is absent in prokaryotic cells but present in eukaryotic cells. DNA complexed with histones is not in prokaryotes but it is there in eukaryotes. Nucleoles are absent in prokaryotes present in eukaryotes. Mitochondria is absent in prokaryotes, present in eukaryotes. Endoplasmic reticulum is absent in prokaryotes, but it is present in eukaryotes. Golgi apparatus, absent in prokaryotes, but it is present in eukaryotes. Cell walls are usually chemically complex with peptidoglycan in prokaryotes, but in eukaryotic cells, cell walls are simpler and lacking peptidoglycan. 70S ribosomes are present in prokaryotes, 80S ribosomes are present in eukaryotes. Lysosomes are absent in prokaryotes, present in eukaryotes. Peroxisomes are absent in prokaryotes, present in eukaryotes. During introduction of this chapter, 
we have seen some interesting facts about bacteria and archaea. Now we will end this chapter by knowing few more interesting facts about mitochondria and chloroplasts which were proposed through endosymbiotic theory. The endosymbiotic theory states that some of the organelles in today's eukaryotic cells were once prokaryotic microbes. In this theory, the first eukaryotic cell was probably an amoeba-like cell that got nutrients by phagocytosis. Some of these amoeba-like organisms ingested prokaryotic cells that then survived within the organism and developed a symbiotic relationship. Mitochondria formed when bacteria capable of aerobic respiration were ingested. Chloroplasts formed when photosynthetic bacteria were ingested. Evidence for this is based on the following. Chloroplasts and mitochondria are the same size as prokaryotic cells divided by binary fission like bacteria. Mitochondria and chloroplasts have their own DNA that is circular like prokaryotes. Mitochondria and chloroplasts have their own ribosomes which are of 70S type like in prokaryotes. No any experimental evidence but only circumstantial evidence is available in support of the proposal. Students, thus today we have learned about the types of cells, cell organelles and their functions. Summary The animal and plant cell have different size and number of vacuoles. Plastids are cytoplasmic organelles of algae and higher plants that often possess pigments such as chlorophylls and carotenoids and are the sites of synthesis and storage of food reserves. It contains DNA, ribosomes, lipid droplets, starch granules. The endosymbiotic theory states that some of the organelles in today's eukaryotic cells were once prokaryotic microbes.